through the carbonate, that's how I got free. Jump it back off because there's no stopping me. Postmodern player, sample tastic, flows it frastic. I get drastic. Hey, watch the plastic. Yo, I name check and leave you drastic. Welcome to the MacGuffin, episode 159. I'm Spencer. And I'm Greg. Today we're giving you our DVD rundown for the yeah. week of June 12th. Mm -hmm. It's a Tuesday, as usual. I better be. They, they twist it up every now and then, but they keep being regular this time. Good, good. So, this week there's a wide variety of stuff coming out. Mm -hmm. um, some new, some old, some in between. A nice, a nice variety again. Yes. Much like last week. Much like last week. Mm -hmm. The first one we're going to talk about is probably one of the bigger ones mm -hmm. on this list in terms of uh, budget, mm -hmm. probably box office, all that sort of stuff. Definitely. And that is the sequel to Sherlock Holmes, Yes. a.k.a. Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows. Mm -hmm. This is the one where Moriarty finally comes yes, into the picture, right. which is pretty awesome mm -hmm. in and of itself. I'm a huge Moriarty Isn't fan. Isn't that Jared Harris? Yes, Please it is. Watch. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Good, good, I haven't even good, seen it. Good memory yeah. on you. Look at you. I just was watching Mad Men last night, so... And yeah. you're like, Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, entertainingly, I didn't know he was Richard Harris's son. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that there either. There you go. I know. Well, kind of gives me like dropped, yeah. 800 times more respect for him. Not like he needed it, anyway. Uh, yeah, I guess that does add He's some pretty respect. Good. He's a pretty good actor already, but yeah. I was like, wow, damn. That's some class. Yeah. So this edition, there's a Blu-ray DVD combo plus yeah. ultraviolet, which we mm. are big fans of mm -hmm. around here. Mm -hmm. The special features are kind of interesting. You know, you got one that's inside the mind of Sherlock Holmes Ooh. with Robert Downey Jr. sort of taking you through the film. Mm -hmm. You've got mm -hmm. Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson, a perfect chemistry featurette, which makes sense. Mm -hmm. And you mm -hmm. have uh, Moriarty's Master Plan Unleashed and Meet Mycroft Holmes. Nice, Sherlock. As two brother. other featurettes. And you know... It's a good, good package, decent film. I haven't loved him. I think mm -hmm. Robert Downey Jr. and Jude Law are pretty good as those characters, but yeah. the plots are sort of hit or miss. Yeah. Sadly, it's not as good as the Sherlock series in terms yes. of, you know, every character, Holmes, <laughs> yeah. Mycroft, yeah. Moriarty, and, and Watson, Watson are all, all like, retardedly ca well yeah. cast. <laughs> so it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a solid package. It's got some interesting mm -hmm. special features, though. So if you did enjoy mm -hmm. the film, yeah. I'd definitely pick it up. It mm -hmm. seems like a good package. The next one is going back in time, mm -hmm. way, way back in time, mm -hmm. and we're talking about the Criterion Blu-ray release of The Gold Rush. Yes. Charlie which, Chaplin? Exactly. The Charlie yes. Chaplin directed and starring project. Oh, uh, yes. That's right. This is the one, you know, where he eats the shoe, mm -hmm. all that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. Very famous. It, it's a Criterion edition, yeah. so you know yeah. that it's going to have some <laughs> awesome features. Let's see. It's got a New HD transfer slash restoration mm -hmm. with uncompressed monorial of the 1942 version. <laughs> it also has a new audio commentary for the 1925 version. Oh, sorry. Let me step back. Mm. It's got a new 2K digital transfer of the reconstructed original 1925 silent film. Wow. So that's pretty cool. Very as nice. As well as an audio commentary by Chaplin biographer Jeffrey Vance. Mm. It's got a uh, gold rush. Uh, feature it presenting that little film's history. It's got a short documentary about the gold rush, Very aka cool. Chaplin today, and it's got a booklet with an essay from film critic Luc Sante, or Luc Sant, hmm. as probably is the correct fr mm. French pronunciation. <laughs> yes, Luc probably. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's Chaplin, it's yeah. Criterion, yeah, it's I mean, classic. It's you know, like, it's hard to go wrong yeah. with this edition. So I'm curious to check it out and see how the rest restored version mm -hmm. looks. I'm I, th I think that'd be pretty cool, especially you know too. how older films mm -hmm. do age over time. I would so. love to have a Netflix version for just Criterion, where so I could just watch Criterion because I almost feel like anything they release, I should see. I hear they do a lot on Hulu. Oh, so that's yes, that's true. You're right. So that's something to think about. Maybe I don't know if Hulu Plus is going to be worth it, though. Mm. Like eight bucks, you know? Mm. How, how, how wrong could it be? Mm. It's still got commercials, though, which kills me. If, so. if I'm going to pay eight more dollars for, for digital movies, I'm going to switch my streaming-only Netflix package to streaming and disc. That's not a that's not a bad way to yes. go. And if Hulu Plus didn't have the commercials, I'd really be much more in favor of it. But, you know, to each their own, whatever. Mm-hmm. The last one we're going to talk about is mm -hmm. another more 
up-to-date one, probably the most current one of them all since it hasn't come out yet. Oh, hey. And that is the direct-to-video Superman ah. versus the Elite combo pack with the Blu-ray, DVD, and Ultraviolet edition. Another DC animated movie? Another DC animated movie based upon uh, the Action Comics number 775, What's So Funny About Truth, Justice, and the American Way. Hmm. This is uh, Superman, you know, taking on this group called the Elite, which are anti-heroes that sort of decide to take... Uh, justice into their own hands ah. based upon the authority. Oh, okay. If you, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, I loosely know about the authority. Comic. Comic <laughs> guy here. <laughs> so, it's it's sort of inspired by, you know, a post-9-11 mm. world and mm -hmm. people taking justice in their own hands. And it, look, it looks interesting. I saw it previewed on whatever the last DC... Doom? Was, was that the Doom, Doom, Doom Justice Day? League Doom, Doom versus Doom or whatever it Doomsday? was? Doomsday? Justice League Doomsday? Yeah, that could be it. Yeah, that sounds plausible. Yeah. And that was back in like March or so. Mm -hmm. yeah. And much like that one, this has a sneak peek at mm -hmm. Batman The Dark Knight Returns Part 1. Yes, which I heard about because uh, it's got Kevin Conroy as the voice of Batman. Animated Frank Miller. Yeah. It's going to be interesting Animated to see Animated Frank that Miller works. with the Batman the Animated Series voice actor for Batman. I mean, come on. It's like the best animated Batman voice that it can be. Yep. With one of the coolest Batman stories, so that should be interesting. And it's got also a featurette about the Unleat, uh, a short little documentary focused hmm. on them. It's also got a featurette about Superman and the moral debate about, you know, using... Uh, his power to mm. fight other people and stuff like that. And I kind of wish Marvel would get into the animated movie feature, just because, as as interesting as it is, if you're into comics, a lot of these are a lot less investment than the big Hollywood superhero blockbusters. Well, that you can get a lot of that back. That's the thing that's amazing. That is just DC so dominates the digital yeah. comic realm, and Marvel so dominates the live action mm -hmm. realm that it's. It's just kind of amazing. Maybe that's why. Maybe they just were both like, you know what? We're never gonna, we're gonna have to put so much money in to compete. We might as well keep kicking butt at the thing we kick butt at. Who that's knows? true. I mean, it just seems like they've got Marvel or DC has Batman lurking yeah. out there, and that's yeah. one like yeah. absolute juggernaut of a live action yeah, series, at least true. right yeah. now. That it's just sad that they can't really get Superman or any of the mm -hmm. other other characters back in action. Yeah, I just I mean, I learned so much weird DC story arc and errata from these existing oh, even if I don't see them. Yeah, so it's like so good. man, you know, and all these features about the elite, you're learning all these things even if you didn't know it and it's like Marvel if Marvel did that, there'd be so much more people knowing back lore of lo of Marvel weird stuff. Maybe Marvel isn't so consistent, so they're like they don't want to go they're like, no, back lore. Could be. That's Could why be. we made the ultimate series. I tend to think DC's got some issues as well, but well, yeah. they do they do <laughs> good true. they do good digital stuff. Yeah, for sure. Definitely, definitely. So that's uh our picks mm -hmm. or our ones that we're mentioning yes. this week. The rundown. Yes. Uh, join us tomorrow for our discussion about father son movies mm -hmm. in honor of That's My Boy, the Adam Sandler. Andy Samberg yep. film. Two AS out. names. How weird is that got to be on the. That is line? interesting. Yeah. As as. I like that sort of mm. plan. But anyway, <laughs> let's know your feedback about this and the DVD picks mm -hmm. or what you'd pick at MacGuffinPodcast.com, mm -hmm. Twitter.com slash MacGuffinCast, Facebook.com slash MacGuffinPodcast, phone number. 323-761-9842. Mm -hmm. We're on iTunes. We're on Blip. We're on Miro. We're on Roku. Check in at Get Glue. Interact with us. Yes. Let us know. Feedback. What you think. We like it. We like to talk. You give, we give back. It'll make a two way street. We like conversations. I'm giving those with the 3D TV yeah. something Ooh. to Roku Box yeah. and 3D TV. This is all for you. This is all for you. <laughs> Magneto can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. Even Zod can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. This type don't even try to buy the same style. Mr. Spock can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. The Wrath of Khan can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. The Borg can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. Because I've got space game and it feels alright.